So the next thing that I'm going to do is create the edit button. And to do that, we're going to create a separate uh, page, HTML page, so that we can have a edit form uh, available. And right before I do that, I'm also going to add a little bit of margin uh, to the top and bottom of this input uh, form so that it looks a little bit more uh, cl uh, clean. I'm going to just add simple uh, inline formatting for that. So let's go to, let's go to here. Actually, let's go to this uh, row class here and style margin top 10 pixels and margin bottom 10 pixels. Refresh, and there's a little bit of space added. And now we're going to create the uh, edit button. So the edit button, unlike the delete button, is not going to be a form, it's just going to be a plain link. So if we go down here, go to edit. And in this place, I create a link tag, edit, and we're going to create a new, uh, we want to go to task, edit uh, URI. So it's going to be task, task ID slash edit. And the method is going to be get, which is, which can be a normal link. And on the task controller is going to be the method edit. So we're going to type in um, for the uh, URL root tasks edit. And we have to send in a uh, variable for tasks. It's going to equal to store task ID. And we're also going to add a little bit of styling to this. So we're going to add a class of button and button default. And if we go back here, refresh, we have our edit buttons uh, available. So if I type in this button here, it goes to tasks, nine, edit. Next, we want to go to our task controller and create a new uh, dir root direction for the view for that. So let's go to tasks.edit or the edit method right here. So we're going to say uh, return view and we want to uh, create a view under tasks folder and Inside the task folder, it's going to call edit.blade.php. So if we uh, type that in there, and then we go to tasks, new file, edit.blade.php. And if we say hello here, and we go back, refresh, just say hello. So if we go back, do laundry, whoops, not delete, or buy fish food, edit, hello. So we have the correct view file uh, up and running, and now we want to create uh, some actual HTML. So to do that, I'm going to copy and paste from the index file. So copy and paste from the index file, and then I'm going to delete the middle section. So middle, delete this. this and then we're going to uh, we're going to leave in the errors and we're going to leave in the sessions because uh, that's going to display there uh, we want to use that for this form as well so um, if we go back if we save this and we go back here we just have a skeleton on uh, to-do list so we're going to have to create a new form here so we're going to create row form and we're going to create a input uh, type of text and a input submit button for the add input submit and or not add but save changes 
see it changes. And we're also going to have a uh, go back button. So uh, if, in case the user doesn't want to see the changes and just goes back to the uh, task list, they can press this button. So this is just going to be a regular uh, link tag. So link go back. And we're going to put this inside a form group. And we're going to uh, give this a class a form control so it's full width. So form control. And then we're also going to say input large to make it a little bit bigger. And for the input button down here, we want to say class button uh, button success to make it green and button large to make it large. Same for the link tag, class, button, button success, and button large. If we go back, refresh, we have this. And we're going to uh, also give this a class of pull right, so it goes to the right side. And this should be button danger to make it red. Go back here, refresh. On success that's two s's fresh so it's green and red and inside the input tag uh, we want to uh, create a value for um, what the current task name is so we want to say uh, current current task name current task um, or task under edit task under edit uh, name something like that and um, I'm just going to restart my sublime text because the syntax highlighting is not working so one second so we're back here and we want to create something like task under edit name However, we have to first pass in uh, this variable or the stored database variable from the model uh, through the controller into this uh, view. So to do that, we're going to go back to our controller file, app HTTP controllers task controller. And this one will be under task controller edit. So we go back to the edit uh, method And here we want to say uh, task is equal to task colon colon find and then the ID. And while we return view, we want to uh, return it with the variable. So with um, I think it goes task under edit as task. So if we go back here, it's task under edit. And if we refresh the page, we should have the value right inside there. So now we want to uh, create the save changes button, which is currently unset. So if so, uh, we, on, we want to create a form action here. So the form action, we want to send it to uh, update, which is tasks.update. That's going to go to um, the URI of task slash the task ID with a method of put. And it's going to be under the form method update in task controller, uh, the controller task controller. So we're going to use tasks.update. So here I'm going to put 
brackets and say task.update or root task.update and then I have to send in the uh, the ID task ID so I'm going to say um, task under edit ID the method is going to be a uh, post but we're going to change that to put using the Laravel hidden form method and here I'm going to add the cross-site forgery request um, field so CSRF field and here I'm going to add the hidden input tag or hidden input field so hidden name is method and value is put and we're getting put from right over here so it's put or patch so we want to use put and uh, that should do it so we should go back to um, the task update uh, form controller and edit from theirs so if we go back to task dot update here we can say task is equal to task Colon, colon find ID task is equal to or task name is equal to request and let's say um, the form here was uh, we didn't have a name here so let's say name uh, updated task name so updated task name and then task save and then we can redirect to um, our index page so return view or actually return um, redirect root redirect root task.index so let's test this out uh, buy fish food uh, we're just gonna say the fish food was great save changes and buy some fish food the fish food was great so if we let's try again uh, one more time task ID number one this is the second task now it's the third save changes now it's displaying here now it's the third um, however if we edit uh, actually we we also want to create the validation um, because right now without the validation we can enter in something that's blank so we could enter in something that's empty or over 255 characters long. So if I uh, remove this, save changes, go back, it should be an empty field and we don't want that. So let's go back to um, uh, the update uh, method and then let's add validation here. So here we want to say this, validate, and validate the request, array, and updated task uh, name is required. So required min minimum number of characters is five the max number of characters is 255 so now if we go back uh, here and edit and save changes it should appear a error message the um, updated task name field is required and we have the error message because we in the in our edit page we didn't delete this part so we display the error messages here and now we also want to display the success message so we want to create a success variable session so to do that, we're going to go back to our uh, task controller 
And right after um, task save, we're going to add session flash, then the var uh, session variable name success. And task number ID has been successfully updated. So if you go back here and let's say um, this is the new first task for tomorrow morning. Save changes and task number uh, has successfully been updated. So let's see, uh, we want to add request ID. We actually want to say, um, I think task ID. No, just ID actually just ID so refresh edit here um, number two Let's save changes task number one has successfully been updated and if we go back here if we uh, make this really long I'm just copy and pasting it multiple times so save changes the updated task name may not be written in 255 characters save changes the updated task field is required the updated task name must be at least five characters. So now we just go back to something normal, save changes. And task number one has been successfully updated. And let's delete task number one. And now we also want to display a success, merit, a success message when something has been deleted successfully. So let's go back to our task controller. And under destroy, after a task has been deleted, we want to again create a session variable of flash success. And task number ID has been successfully deleted. So go back here, refresh. And uh, buy new books, delete that. Nobody buy, buys books anymore. <laughs> we all buy ebooks, so delete that. And task number five has been successfully deleted. So our CRUD and our to do list app is complete here. And the last thing I want to do is just add the paginate uh, method, um, pagination system. So if we have, for example, 10 methods, I'm just going to ask uh, add task uh, name, task. Numero uno. Task by go to dance class. And let's add a few here. So, um, task. I'm just going to create some random tasks here. So, I'm just going to create a bunch. So is that more than 10? Okay, that's I think that's more than 10. I just want to create three pages of pagination with uh, five list items each. So 